how to use Notion AI meeting notes. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with using Notion meeting notes. Now, Notion meeting notes are simply a amazing tool, which I have really been loving. No longer do you have to keep a notepad and then write the notes yourself, but Notion now allows you to take meeting notes and all of your meetings can be summarized in one space. This is what I really love about Notion is that it's always innovating and with their new AI features and this powerful meeting note, to applicate this powerful meeting notes tool, you're able to maximize your productivity, efficiency, and be a more effective person. So to get started with meeting notes, you can simply open up any space, any board, any empty page that you might have. I want to build a singular hub for all of my meeting notes. So everything that happens in meetings, I want it to be in one singular space so I can keep track of everything. So within my workspace, I'm going to create a brand new empty page and I'm going to be calling this meetings. Now, after that, I can add an icon Con. I'm going to search for people and okay so all of these are you know people let's say I want to search for yeah I'm going to make it like so like this one and then after that I can click on add cover and I'm going to change the cover to just this over here once I do that I can proceed now over here I can get started with my meeting notes now on the bottom you will see I have this ask AI and then meeting notes feature however if you cannot find this icon directly like I can over here simply place your cursor type in a forward slash and then search for meeting once you type in meeting it will show you AI meeting notes so click on AI meeting notes over here and you can see that AI Notion, the Notion AI will summarize the notes and transcript. Now you have two options for this. You have the uh, starting with limited audio. Now Notion does recommend that you should download the Notion application because once you do download the Notion application, your meetings can be recorded. Uh, it can basically transcribe your meetings in real time and it's a bit more effective. And then you can see on the right, you even have consent. So within this, you have voice as well as learn more, AI Notion to transcribe this meeting and generate notes. Then you have the format as well as the language now meeting notes can be in multiple different languages so we have all of these language options including spanish french japanese russian vietnamese norwegian dutch italian swedish so you have a bunch of different languages that you can use this for now what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on start with limited audio i'm going to allow this while visiting the site and now i'm going to proceed with my meeting so starting off i am going to turn on actually a recording of a meeting that we have previously made so this is like a one minute recording and i'm going to play this recording of an actual meeting this meeting um so i have our list of chronically absent students here i've been noticing a troubling trend um a lot of students are skipping on fridays does anyone have any idea what's going on i've heard some of my mentees talking about how it's really hard to get out of bed on fridays it might be good if we did something like a pancake breakfast to encourage them to come that's a great idea try that next week it might also be because a lot of students have been getting sick now that it's getting colder outside i've had a number of students come by my office with symptoms like sniffling and coughing I should put up posters with tips for not getting sick since it's almost flu season and like, you know, wash your hands after the bathroom, stuff like that. That's a good idea. And it'll be a good reminder for the teachers as well. One other thing I wanted to talk about, um, there's a student I've noticed here, John Smith. He's missed seven days already and it's only November. Does anyone have an idea what's going on with him? I might be able to fill in the gaps there. I talked to John today and he's really stressed out. He's been dealing with helping his parents take care of his younger siblings during the day. It might actually be a good idea if he spoke to the guidance counselor. I can talk to John today if you want to send him to my office after you have a lot to deal with school. Or... Great, thanks. And and I can help out with the family's child care needs. Uh, look for some free or low-cost resources in the community to share with John. And share them with... Great, well, some really good ideas here today. Coming, and if no one has anything else, I think we can wrap up. So this was our example meeting. I'm going to stop the Notion recording and it's going to start creating a summary. It's going to start creating notes and it's going to build a full transcript of the meeting as well. Now, I do think that it does perform better when you are using this within the Notion application, but even if you're using the web client, it still does a pretty amazing job. Now, you guys can see the summary. So there are attendance concerns, the case discussion of John Smith, as well as proposed solution, as well as action items. So implement this breakfast event for next Friday, create and post health tip posters, join John Smith to meet with guidance counselor, like so. Now, if I click on notes, Notion AI will summarize the notes and transcript, and this is the full transcript. And from here, I can proceed with Notion AI. So I want to translate this entire thing into Danish, let's say. And now it is going to 
translate the entire thing into Danish as well. Now from here, I can also go ahead and resume the transcription. I can retry summaries. I can also change the format. If this is a sales call, I can specify that this is a sales call. If this is stand up, then I can specify this is a stand up. If this is a team meeting, I can specify that. So when you specify it, it converts the summary and action items and it's able to dissect the information from that perspective. Because let's say you're having a team meeting and there are a lot of, you know, it's a really long meeting. This was just a example of a really short meeting, but for longer meetings, you might want to specify what type of meeting it is. That's just going to help you in getting the correct answers and being able to get all of, you know, the relevant information you need. And it's pretty much, you know, it's pretty similar. Now from here, I can also proceed with deleting the transcript if it is no longer needed. So you guys can see the entire transcript might just be something that I do not want to keep. So I'm going to click on delete transcript and it will delete the transcript altogether. So instead, all I have is a summary and then I can build notes. So let's say Notion AI will summarize the notes and transcript and then I can proceed with, you know, customizing these and asking it to make more notes. Now currently this meeting was a pretty short one, so I don't think there are, you know, many things for it to actually create notes about, but obviously with longer meetings, it is going to be a bit more, uh, detailed and a bit more long or the notes are going to be longer definitely now keep in mind that you do have to proceed with consent and you can see that you can connect this to your notion calendar which is going to help you in importing these action items and these tasks into workable tasks now no longer do you have to wait for these action items now you can just simply click on the icon over here and if i want i can simply click on these action items okay and then copy them and then I can paste them into any other space. You can also see that I can just check these out like so, and then so on and so forth. You're able to keep track of all of your meetings. Now, if I have, you know, the next meeting that I have, I can get started on top because I do like to keep everything in a reverse chronological order. So what I like to do is that one meeting happens, then if another meeting is happening, I'm just going to turn this on. And then after that, I can proceed. And then I would start with limited audio. So today I'm going to be talking and we're going to be having this meeting about our goals, our revenue goals. We haven't reached our 100k goal. Currently, we only have one month left for our goal, and we are only at 50,000. So we have half a we have half of our goal amount remaining. Now, I just recorded that, and you guys will see it will create summary notes and transcripts. So summary of revenue goals. You're describing revenue goals. You haven't reached a 100k goal. You're only left with one month to uh, meet your goal, and you're currently at 50% of your target. You guys can see that even within this really short summary, it was able to take all of the action items. It was able to create, you know, it was able to uh, summarize everything and it was telling me that it was it was a quite short recording. So with longer recordings, it could provide more comprehensive summaries, including detailed action items, stakeholder responsibilities and specific strategies to help us in reaching our remaining goals for the rest of the month. So not only can it provide you with this really amazing actionable, these actionable items, but it is able to create and help you in strategizing further within your meetings and you're able to be a more participative uh, employee or team member whenever you are using Notion because it is going to find all the action items, it's going to make you stay on track and it's going to be a quick way for you to get all the information that is required. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to get started with using a Notion AI meeting notes. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. If you have any questions, any queries, make sure to leave those in the comments down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say. Thanks for watching.